Hi, it's another opportunity to bring you your program, Legends of Our Time. On Legends of Our Time, we talk to individuals who are making us proud in their chosen fields of specialization. My name is Gifty AG. Today we'll talk history. Remember Ghana gained independence in 1957 thus becoming the first country south of the Sahara to chalk this milestone. Now, as part of the vision of the then president in Kroma, he needed specific people to project Ghana and, of course, the continent of Africa. Of all the people in Ghana, Nkrumah relied on only 10 people, which he selected to do the job for Ghana. He codenamed the team the G10. Uh, the G10 were strategically positioned in nations deemed so by Nkrumah. Currently, eight of the G10 are no more, with only two surviving. I'll take a break. When I come back, I'll talk to one of the uh, surviving G10. Welcome back. My guest for today is Ambassador Ebenezer Debra. Ambassador, thank you so much for thank being you. on our set. Thank you. We are grateful. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, as a member of the G10, you got the opportunity to work closely with the man in Chroma. Yeah. Is that correct? Yes. Mm. Very, very much so. <laughs> very much so. Um, um, the as an advertisement was put in the paper mm. for people to enter the Foreign Service of Ghana. Okay. Two thousand people applied. For the position. For the for the, for the Foreign Service. Mm. Of the two thousand, two hundred and thirty five only were invited for the interview. Okay. And Ten of us were selected. Wow. Only ten of us. Recently, they had, we had an anniversary, and of the ten, mm -hmm. only two of us, a queen, and yourself, Richard, a queen and myself, were alive. So, uh, how did you feel? You know, when uh, you, it came out that you passed the interview, you were part of the the ten selected. How did you feel then? Um, uh, we we uh, the ten were asked to go to a conference in London with new entrants from the British Foreign Service. No, before we get there, I was asking that when it came out that you've been selected yeah. as part of the G10 team, personally, how did you take the information? Um, you were. Were you happy? Oh, you were happy. You thank God mm -hmm. that you have been selected mm. to be part of this thing, and relied on your faith in God to succeed. Mm -hmm. But it was uh, the ten of us. We had to go to. Uh, a, a conference in um, in London mm. with the British Foreign Service new entrants, Canadians, and uh, ourselves. As you see. Then after that, we had to. We said we we're going to visit um, Geneva, but we stopped in Paris. At that time, President Ofo Boigny was a minister in the French government. So we decided to pay uh, uh, a visit to him. We asked for an interview and he granted us. 
Well, we told him our mission was preparing for independence. And he said, well, he didn't think of independence as such, but his idea was that we should be part of the colonial uh, system or, or part of the, uh, the government which kept us, uh, which, which colonized us mm. and be part of the, the bigger whole. Well, we, we told him that, well, we believe in independence, and that's why Nkrumah has selected us to prepare for independence. We, we came back home and reported our conversation with uh, President Okwebwani. So immediately we had independence. Nkrumah went to Ivory Coast and had a long meeting with uh, Okwebwani. It was clear that Nkuma had convinced him because by 1962, Ofwe who has also chosen for independence and uh, so with independence for Africa continue. Let, let me ask you this, since you got the opportunity to work with the man in Nkuma closely, yeah. uh, from your perspective, right. how would you describe Nkuma? Who was he? Um, I have a, a picture, a chroma, was somebody who had a lot of, uh, what should I say, prospects for Africa. He, he sees, now, nah, well, nobody was independent, but he felt that the future for Africa lay in its independence. And he found himself, he thanked God that he's been made a leader to lead independence. When we had this talk with Ofebuani, we reported to Nkrumah. Nkrumah went straight after independence to Ofebuani and convinced him that Africa we need to be independent. Mm. And so uh, February 1962 became independent. Bought it and Nkrumah's idea. Yes. And, and Kuma, uh well, all Africa owes uh, its independence to Nkrumah. Um, we me, uh, Mr. Ham was uh, uh, the guy, he was my ambassador mm. in Washington, I was his number two. And when he came back home, he was made the governor of the bank mm. and also treasurer of the city of uh, Nkrumah. So uh, uh, Mr. Ham told Nkrumah to send me as ambassador to the oil. Uh, then, oh, some people said, oh, he, he's not a CPP, he's not a CPP. The, the first ambassador to or the OU must be CPP man. He's a civil servant. And Mr. Mr. Uh, Ham said, Ham was then the treasurer, was the governor of the bank, he was the treasurer of the CPP. He said, I have worked with him, and I think he's the best man. For the job. Yeah. So Nkrumah then said, I should go to uh, Winneba to go to, he said, he said to be uh, learn about being a CPP. So I went to Winneba and uh, the Logical College, and I found there were so many things we had to be put in, done for the school. So the, I worked very closely with the uh, head of the ideological study. And when I finished, I wrote a report to Nkrumah. So when Nkrumah got my report, he said, ah, this is the man I'm looking <laughs> for. Deborah, get up, pack up, <laughs> go to Addis Ababa. So I... Ethiopia. Uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. So I was the uh, ambassador. ambassador to OEO. And um, Nkrumah and I were, I have here a picture 
Okay, let me show you to the camera. Of the first Ghana delegation sure. to the OU. Okay. And this, this is, is you. Me. This is Nkrumah. This is Nkrumah. And, and this is my wife. This is Deborah. your wife, and this Mrs. Tetega. Deborah. Yes. And this is Tetega. Who is Tetega? Uh, the TUC. Okay. The TUC. TUC boss at the yeah. time. Yeah. And this and, is you. Yeah, this is me. And that okay. is my daughter. Who is this is your son and your daughter. daughter. Yeah. And then next one is okay. uh, the CPP uh, minister. CPP uh, minister at the time. Okay. And then uh, this will be ambassador too. That's interesting. Now so, let's so this is the first Ghana delegation. Okay, that went to the to the OAU. OAU. Okay, hey, Ambassador, we have more of your pictures here. Uh, kindly take us through. I can. I know this is in Chroma. Yeah. And that's it. Ambassador. Uh, this is my daughter. This is your she's daughter. She's now a doctor. She's now a, a medical uh, doctor. Uh, and the, who is this guy? Is this one of the. Uh, Okay, that's, oh, fine. Yes, that's yes. fine. That's fine. That's fine. So this Ambassador Deborah, uh, his daughter Kwame Nkrumah. Okay, he was then taking his lunch at the yeah. time you took the picture. Yeah, this was at uh, the OAU meeting. OAU yeah, meeting. Yes, I had lunch. But okay, he had lunch with Nkrumah. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is current. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is this is the President Akubar. President Akubar. This is my wife. This is my sister. And this is myself. Okay, yourself, yes, yes. President Ekufuado, the of July. your wife, yeah. and your sister. My sister. Okay. She's 94 years old. She's 94 years. Mm -hmm. Ah, she's old. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this is yourself, Ambassador Deborah, yeah. and then uh, President Ekufuado. Uh, yeah. Oh, this was at one of the functions in the uh, Independence uh, the, the Hall, you know. And the, the president went around greeting us, and uh, he took that picture. Yeah. It's very, very nice. Mm -hmm. There's another one here. Uh, okay. Yourself. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, Ambassador Then we Deborah. went out, and then you took my This is the president. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So th this president Kuf, uh, Kufuado, uh, yeah. sorry, and Ambassador. yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is huge. Uh, this is the president of Namibia. I I, I built the foreign service for them. And you uh, built I, the foreign service for uh, Namibia. Yeah, Namibia. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Independence. Okay. When was that? Oh, when we really had independence, I spent a year with them. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. And the president uh, had his picture taken. Okay. And this is. President, uh, this is Atta Mills, mm. the late President Atta Mills, yeah. and yourself. Yeah. Mm. Uh, when, did, when did you take that picture? We took this picture in the castle. In the castle. Mm. Okay. During his presidency. Yeah. Okay. Mm. That's nice. Let's talk a bit about your childhood. Mm -hmm. I know you come from Kofodia. Yes. Who were your parents? My father was Reverend Moses Deborah. Mm -hmm. And uh, my mother was the first lady in Ephesiasi uh, to go to the Abri Secondary School. Uh, it's the Abri School. Uh, Abri Girls. Abri Girls. Why in 1946, we were, I was working with my mother in Abri. We were just going to girls' school. Then we saw a lady, they started dropping, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said, Mama, what's happening? He said, this is my classmate in 1918. <laughs> 1919. 1918. 1918. Uh, yes, okay. at, at, at the Buddhist girls' school. <laughs> and we haven't seen each other since we, uh, we left school. And in 1946, we meet them. We started shouting, <laughs> jumping, jumping, jumping. <laughs> and my mother was the first uh, uh, lady from a village. Mm -hmm. To go to the bus. Mm -hmm. uh, the father was a cocoa uh, farmer. Yeah, uh, farmer. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, so I said, <laughs> Mom, I said, they, 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 they were so happy. They haven't seen each other since 1918. 1918. Oh, <laughs> that's uh, way back. <laughs> mm -hmm. And my mother, uh, 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 
Uh, my mother is not. Okay, you don't have her picture here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, who are your siblings? How many siblings do you have? Uh, who are some of them? Uh, the first one was born in Kolibu. The second was born, this girl. No, that's in, your daughter. In Egypt. Okay. The third was born in Washington. The fourth was born No, in I'm talking about your brothers and sisters. I'm talking From about your my parents. children. Let me finish when I come to my. Okay. okay. So, my sister, so my son, yeah, I was born in Washington. Okay. And then uh, the next the girl. boy, uh, the girl was born in Egypt. Egypt. Yeah. And then the third was born, in the, then the last boy was born in Ethiopia. That then, I took my wife to the hospital. And General Ankara was then coming. So I left, uh, he was in Accra, I made a call, and he was head of state coming to the only meeting. So I took my wife to the hospital, went to the airport, met General Ankara, mm. brought her to the hotel. And when I went back, said, the wife has had a baby, and she's fine. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> yeah, that's your nuclear family. Yeah. Uh, tell us about your, 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 your brothers and sisters. Do you oh, have my Eden? father was the first Ashanti Methodist minister. No, do you have a brother? My father. And he, he had the, we had three boys and five girls. Okay. My brother was a teacher, and my young brother was working with the U.S. Mm. And I was doing the foreign service. Yeah, and my sister, Mrs. Uh, Duca, uh, she's still, mm. she's now 94. Okay. And, uh, mm. But we had five girls and three boys. Five girls, three boys. That's interesting. Yeah. So, Ambassador, what kind of childhood did you have? Or how did your parents even describe you mm. uh, as a child? My father was a Methodist minister. Mm. And he, he went to training college, Western College, in 1920, the year I was born. So when I was four, he went to take his first posting at Oda. So I went to Akim Oda. Okay. And from Akim Oda, he came to uh, Accra mm. to be the at Freeman House, uh, Freeman, Bukum Square, Freeman. Okay. He was a minister there. From there, he was transferred to Kofodra to be the minister for New Jabi. From there, he was transferred to uh, Takwa, mm. Obuasi, mm. Kumasi, mm. and they were transferred back to Accra this time to be the uh, superintendent. So, which means you were always traveling with your dad or yeah, staying you know, with your mom um, in after, uh, Kofodia? After, uh, 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 when I went to Kofodia, after that, I went to the university. And when I went to the university, uh, I did travel again, and up at the university, there was uh, this uh, uh, advertisement for the foreign service. And 2,000 people applied for the foreign service. For over 200? 235 mm. were invited for an interview, mm. and they took 10 of us. And you were one of the 10? Yes, I was one of the That's 10. That's interesting. And, uh, and now, Mm. Yeah, only two of us of the ten alive, mm. Akwe and myself. Akwe and yourself, that's mm. good. Now, let's look at your, um, uh, your education. Yeah. Uh, you started school in Kofodia before you left for Infant Spim. Yeah, in I, 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 I went to Kofodia. Mm -hmm. and then I went to, I went to Wesley College. Uh, then, while I was working the, uh, Compass, when a Reverend Nimaku saw me, he said, Hey, Swoba, what are you doing here? I said, Mr. Student. He said, You can't be a student. I said, My father he has no money. He said, No, no, no. So Swoba Nimaku went to call the, my father that I've seen your little boy uh, at the Wesley College, but he must go that to That was elementary school, Wesley College. Yes, was from Wesley College. He must go to secondary school. Not okay. So my father said, he didn't have the money. He said, no. So I've asked the boy to 
go to Fazma. So my father then sent for me. I went and then he took me to Fazma School. Where Which he was year a, was it? A Methodist. Do you remember? Uh, it was a, a Methodist minister. Mm -hmm. So he knew. And it was a Methodist uh, school. Yes, Methodist also. school. As you could see, I'm, I wear the. That's your tie, Fazma your colors. <laughs> and I went to Fazma. So the first term, I went. I was put from two. The first term. Every, oh, the, when we had the exam, the the one where I had the least mm -hmm. was 93, but all, everything was 100, 100, masters. Oh. So they said, no, they should move this math to the next class. <laughs> so they moved me to the next class, and two times over, they moved me to the next class. Wow. So I went through, mm -hmm. uh, and then when we got to... Uh, so instead four. of five years, you spent three years? Uh, three years. Okay. So um, uh, after the school, they said they're going to have a sixth form. In those days, it was intermediate. Mm -hmm. And that each school, in Fasatum, St. Augustine, mm -hmm. um, Adesada, should send two people. But each school first we should see ten, so it said ten. Mm -hmm. A public service commission would select the two, one okay. as one thing. So first one, ten, at Saddle, ten, ten, ten to the Gaston School and mm -hmm. So we for you to be in first one school, they selected me for us and Tamak, Dr. Tamak, for uh, SARS. And uh, at Saddle, the one selection was Professor Lane, and then Sir uh, Augustine. So we went to Asporta to start the joint 26. So you were picked, you were selected yeah, picked to go okay, um, out of the 10. To start the sixth uh, six form six Asporta. Okay. So for, from there, we uh, uh, went to the university. Uh, after the uh, uh, university, you went to University of Ghana. University of Ghana. Mm. And then we went for uh, uh, the of the Foreign Service. Okay. And 2000 applied. Ambassador, let's take okay. a quick break. Mm. When we come back, we'll continue with our conversation. Okay. Mm. Let's take. I said, let me take a quick break. Okay. Good. When I come back, we'll yeah. talk more. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyway, he just joined us. You're watching Legends of Our Time on GBC 24. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, we'll talk more with Ambassador Deborah. Please stay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. You're still watching Legends of Our Time on GBC 24. My name is Gifty EG, and my guest for today is Ambassador Ebenezer Deborah. He's one of the um, G10 that Nkroma selected uh, to begin our foreign service. He was actually posted to Ethiopia at the time. Ambassador, now let's come to your portfolio Nkroma gave you as the ambassador to Ethiopia. Uh, what kind of brief did he give you at the time in terms of what to do and even your lifestyle in uh, Ethiopia? In Kroma, his objective is total liberation of Africa. And with the, it was a business to make sure that all Africa became independent. Mm. We, four of us, uh, uh, we, uh, when we were going to Geneva, so we stopped in Paris, Paris. Uh, to call on Ofo Bwani, 
who was then in the French government. And he told us that he did not uh, believe in independence, where we shall be separate from the colonial matter, but he believed in being part of the colonial government. So he was a minister in the French government. And we told him that, you know, Kroma, who our leader, believed that all Africa should be independent. So we went, we came back home and told Nkrumah that we have had the opportunity to meet a full boy. Mm. And he believes in having the colony should be part of the European countries. But we told him that, no, we want independent for Africa, and that's what we are working for. Okay. So after independence, Nkrumah went to uh, Ivory Coast and had a met a full boy. Mm. And who are convinced of World War II. So in 1962, Ivory Coast became independent. And all Africa, and Kruma, uh, fought for the total liberation of Africa. Mm -hmm. And uh, Nkrumah and I, as you can see, were very close. Mm -hmm. See a picture yeah. mm, of mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh -huh. So um, in Ethiopia, what yeah. were some of the things that you did for Ghana? Well, what, what was the things we did for Ghana? We did for Africa. Okay. So, but the first was that to make sure that Africa, uh, all African countries, became independent. And the OEU had been formed because Africa was in danger of being divided into Moravia Group and Casablanca Group. So Haile Selassie brought us together, uh, all together, so I would form Africa would be one, instead of two. And um, I remember one evening, Haile Selassie uh, said he wanted to see Nkrumah, and I arranged it, and I sat behind the door. And the Haile Selassie uh, wanted to make sure that Nkrumah was with him. And when they left the meeting, both of them were smiling. When I asked him Krumah what happened, he said they talked about this thing, and he assured him that they are all for the independence and total liberation of Africa. Mm. And, uh, and that is what happened. Um, we had a very successful OU meeting, mm. and uh, uh, Krumah's personality uh, was very prominent mm. on the circus. That's interesting. So in 1988, you finally said bye-bye to the Foreign Service. Um, uh, I never <laughs> uh, said for, I never said goodbye to Foreign Service. 1988, I uh, retired as a civil servant. But then I kept on working for the Foreign Service for uh, this day, and I technically left the Foreign Service mm. when I was 95, because for the last 10 years, I have been with the Foreign Service. I'll let you still a, go there. As a consultant. I'll let you still go there. Pardon? I said, i let you still go there. Yes, because mm. uh, 90, I just packed my things from the office uh, in July. Mm. But two days ago, I was... <laughs> you went there? Yeah. <laughs> well, people talked to me, and uh, they wanted to stay here. So having, lived, having worked in the Foreign Service for quite a long time, I still <laughs> go there. <laughs> when I finish, so I'm going to have a meeting there. <laughs> when you finish, you're going to have a meeting uh, there. <laughs> so what kind of consultancy do you do for them? Oh, no. Now, um, uh, I have finished with the ministry. But if anybody wants something, they call me and we talk and so on. Mm. So as far as uh, what do you do for the minister mm. formally, no. No. I've said goodbye. It ended it. Um, but I'm in touch all the time. Okay, in touch all the time. Mm. So aside um, the, the ministry's work that you've, you've mentioned that you've, you've ended it, what else do you do now that you're in, in the house? Oh. Mm -hmm. 
I'm, uh, I'm not 90, mm -hmm. and I left the foreign service in July. So I'm still uh, <laughs> uh, just, uh, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I've asked to do all kinds of things, uh -huh. but uh, I, I spent a lot of time mm -hmm. in church matters. Okay. Uh, Which uh, church do you belong to? Methodist. Yeah, Methodist. My father was the first Ashanti foreign min Methodist minister. Uh, he, he, he came in 1932 and he started in 1972. Uh, and so he was the first assembly minister. Reverend mm. uh, Moses Kwesi Deborah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I, uh, the Methodist Church in Kufuera started. 10 people in 1874. Wow. And my father's father was one of them. One of he them. He was Moses Deborah. Mm -hmm. So he called his son, who became Reverend Moses Kwesi Deborah. Okay. And he called, my father called me Moses Deborah. Mm -hmm. And I have my son of my son, Moses Deborah. Also. Mm. Ambassador, what makes you happy? Pardon? I said, what makes you happy? Serving God. Wow. Serving God. And what else? And this is it. It's serving God and working for the good of man. Mm. That is it. When you say serving God, what exactly do you do? Take care of mankind. And I've been involved in all kinds of doing things to help other people. Mm. Like what? Mm. For example, look, I'm in the foreign service, uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs, and I just left the Minister of Foreign Affairs at 90, working, and people come to consult me when they have something, and uh, and then you could, 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 could see this uh, Please thing from Okay. President of the United States. Ah, this is a citation yeah. uh, from uh, the President, yeah. His Excellency Ikufuado, uh, yeah. and the citation for distinguished and patriotic service to the Republic. Yeah. So they actually rewarded you yeah. for your dedicated service Amen. to Mother Ghana. Amen. That's good. Mm. You, you, you really deserve it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think so. <laughs> you see. And I just see. <laughs> and this was uh, 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 read the top one. Okay. Was, uh, Civil and Local Government Staff Association of Ghana, CLOSAC citation in your honor yeah. to Ambassador E.M. Deborah yeah. for your good works. Good. Congratulations. Amen. <laughs> yeah. So tell us, mm -hmm. what's your favorite food? And then, mm -hmm. oh, Pufu Jabankwa. <laughs> you see, and this, this is the first Ghana delegation to the OAU. To so the OAU. Mm -hmm. And this is Ambassador Deborah. Yeah. This is your wife, yeah. is um, former president in Chroma, yeah. your daughter, yes. and your is, son, uh, the head of the TUC yeah, yeah. then. Mm -hmm. that's, in, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now, with your background in diplomacy, uh, how would you rate Ghana currently in terms of our, our, our diplomacy? Do you oh, think we are doing well? well? Ghana is highly respected. Ghana is highly respected. Uh, when you go, uh, you go where you say you are Ghana. You are Ghanaian. Because you take first in Chroma and the rest of it for the good of Africa. You see, you see uh, 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 the, uh, uh, the Ghana, um, Governments have maintained that. Okay. Sector. So Ghana is highly respected. Mm -hmm. I've been, uh, I've been almost around the world. I've served in uh, Australia, in China, uh, America, and Ghana is highly respected. But can we deepen the respect? What oh, can we do to deepen it? Continue to do the right thing. Like have your good government at Ghana, uh, and, uh, make sure, and Ghanaians are available to help other countries, the teachers, professors, and so on. Mm. 
The Ghanaians are highly respected. We must maintain that. Mm. 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 Ambassador, what makes you sad? Make me sad? Mm. When other people are in difficulty, I make me sad. But something to make me sad, you know, to work hard to make sure that we improve our circumstances for everybody. Mm. Uh, tell us, what has been your principles in life? What has catapulted you to the top? To help others. No. Uh, um, how did you get to where you are? Oh, to the uh, grace of God. Mm. My father was a Methodist minister, okay. and he worked uh, to stay here. Mm. And they put that to me. I have been working for other people. I said, and it's the, every, everywhere I go, I take interest in helping other people. Other people. But for the last about 10 years, I've been the minister of foreign affairs. Says, I'm available. Any projector will consult me and come and discuss the problem with me. Mm. 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 And mm. So, so they keep me the ministry till 90. Mm. Are there lessons you'd want to share with us, especially for, for the young ones yeah. watching? So to, to first of all, we have to, uh, uh, to give thanks to God. And do good. Always consider what you can do to work with, to help your colleagues and for others. And whenever anybody is in trouble and you are needed, please. I've been in the ministry, uh, I just left at the age of 90. Mm. And people come to me whenever they have some discussion or some need or some decision. And anybody that wants to come to me at any time, mm. and I'm ready to help. And the minister is always very nice to me. So I love an old man up to 90 to continue to help. Mm. At age 90, you were able to climb our stairs. What yeah. do you do to stay fit like you are now? Oh, just like what, what I do always. Mm -hmm. you what do you do always? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. You, but the important thing is you must always do good. And then you say, I go to church regularly. And you must think of your other, your fellow uh, people around you. Uh, do good to them. Whenever somebody needs help and come to you, you help. And you are, I, I Take my check going very seriously. seriously. Because service to man is service to God. Is to service to God. Ambassador Deborah, how would you finally that's my last question. How do you want to be remembered? Many years to come. As someone who served his master God. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Ambassador Ebenezer Deborah, thank you Ebenezer so much. Moses. Ebenezer Moses. Ebenezer Deborah. Moses Deborah. Thank you so much for being on our set. Indeed, we are grateful, and you say we say you are a legend. You really deserve our honor. And we are grateful to have you today. Thank you very much. <laughs> to God be the glory. You the say things we had done. So love me the word that He gave us His Son. I don't know, and open the wide is that all may go in. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son and give him the glory. Great things he has done. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Well, this is how we wrap up on today's edition of Legends of Our Time on GBC 24. My name is Gifty AJ, and my guest has been Ambassador uh, Ebenezer, Ebenezer Moses, Moses Deborah, a member of the G10 
that was put together by the former president, Kwame Nkrumah. Thank you so much for watching. We'll come your way, God willing, next week. Until then, bye for now. Thank you. Mama, 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 mama.